Hey everyone, it's John here from Hot Take Hockey back with another video. Vancouver Canucks name Quinn Hughes, captain of the team. Uh, I want to start with that and a bunch of other news throughout the league. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Like button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Uh, but definitely comment your thoughts on Quinn Hughes as the captain because in my eyes, I thought it was Hughes or Pedersen. Pedersen, no extension in place. Hughes has got the long-term deal. It makes sense. He speaks well into the media, leader on and off the ice. Good pick. So uh, Quinn Hughes, captain. It seems like he'll stay in Vancouver, as I just said, but... I know people have talked about the Hughes brothers reuniting at some point. Obviously, the other two Hughes brothers are together in New Jersey. But maybe when Quinn Hughes' career, late 30s, maybe they get a shot at all playing together. But for now, he's going to be a Vancouver Canuck for a while. Overall, there's a lot of news out there. I mean, the Vancouver Canucks, Elliot Freeman talked about it, that Tanner Pearson could be healthy. They're going to have to make a lot of decisions here. I mean, over the cap, that means less LTAR space if Pearson's going to play. The only guy that might be there is Pullman. Like, there's so many decisions to happen here. And I feel like there's going to be another move here where it's like Bavillier, Garland, going through some of these middle six guys. You have to trade one of them. So I do think there's a few teams that could be in contention for a winger from the Canucks. Uh, I've talked about the Sabres being one of those teams. Uh, Brock Bester is another guy that I would look at. Uh, the Boston Bruins could call Vancouver, but I don't know if they want to do a trade together. Uh, but I, I do want to tie this conversation together that the Bruins, Sens, and Canucks could all be busy the next couple of weeks. Uh, I've talked about the Sens recently because they need to sign Shane Pinto. They're trying to trade Matthew Joseph. The Canucks could get involved in this. Uh, if there were two teams that I could see a good fit for uh, Shane Pinto, it would be Vancouver and Buffalo. Uh, sorry, Boston. So uh, Boston has been tied to Shane Pinto. Do the Sens want to trade in division? Are the Sens even trading Shane Pinto at all? I don't think so. But it's a conversation because they need to create cap space. And they have Ridley Gregg. Is Ridley Gregg a natural center? Or can they play him on the wing? We saw him on the wing. So maybe that stays. But my point is, the Sens have to do something. The Canucks have to do something. Maybe these two teams uh, make a couple trades in the coming weeks. And I feel like Boston is one of those teams that could be involved here. They're looking for a center. They're looking for a centered upgrade. I could see a scenario here where um, some of these rebuilding teams, whether it's Anaheim or Arizona, uh, could get involved in a situation like this. Uh, I did talk about like a, a situation where Tyler Myers from Vancouver, if you can get that $6 million off, like off the books, San Jose is another team, for example. If you can get that six mil off the books, Vancouver could facilitate a trade with Ottawa, for example, and then maybe we see a domino effect. But that, that's kind of the point we are in the offseason. We're getting close to training camp. A lot of teams are kind of playing chicken with each other. They're waiting for um, one team to open up space. Because most of the teams that have space right now are going to probably be in the bottom 10 of the, the standings, right? So, um, yeah, there's a lot of news out there. So Shane Pinto is one of them. Uh, I did see a scenario where the Canucks would move a guy like Bavillier to Ottawa and then bring back so like attached draft picks and prospects Ottawa gets a good piece in Bavillier and then takes contracts back with either Branstrom or Pinto so Matthew Joseph being one of them maybe Ottawa still considers trading Kubalik so this is kind of a rambling video right now but I'm just thinking out loud there are going to be moves here folks and um, as I said the Tanner Pearson situation is definitely a conversation does Vancouver hold on to him after that situation with the injury or do they move on from him so a lot of different potential deals out there. I do want to wrap this video with one of the free agents that's out there. I just made a video talking about Patrick Kane, but a guy that a lot of people aren't talking about is Thomas Tatar. Tatar, new agent, and I believe he's represented by Newport Sports, I, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I know the Islanders, I think it was, I don't know if it was other, Arthur Staple or someone else out of New York, I uh, was talking about the Islanders have a lot of guys from there. So. Tatar could go to the Islanders here. I mean, if he's not trying to move like far away, I mean, he was just on the Devils. The Islanders would be a good fit. I think especially when you look at the Islanders, maybe not bringing back Parise and missing out on Tarasenko, Tatar could be that cheap option that goes right into the top nine and probably a better insurance marker if Wallstrom doesn't work out. So going back to that overall conversation of uh, you get to this point in the off season that either PTOs or cheaper deals, maybe it's like a one-year deal two to three million for Tatar. I don't know what the price tag would be for the guy. Uh, he had an okay year, but we know he's been productive in the past. So look out for Tatar to an Eastern Conference team. I would look out for the Islanders in that, Red Wings in that, if the Red Wings do make trades. Uh, I would even look out for the Bruins. I, I could see Tatar as a fit with the Bruins. So 
Um, my top two contenders for Thomas Tatar, Boston Bruins, and New York Islanders. So let me know what you guys think on all that information. I knew I, th I threw a lot at you, but uh, let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.